Boy story with McCadden and now Mick last week is when the Huskies went up against Duluth. They took a five minute major penalty and allowed three power play goals. How can the Huskies improve their penalty kill to create more success? Uh, you know, a lot of penalty killing is, is blocking shots. Uh, maybe they, I don't know if they block quite as many shots as they have here in, in uh, you know, more recently when they've had success with it. So, I mean, blocking shots, one of it. Uh, you know, I mean, the other part of it is, you know, the, the old saying is that goaltenders have to be your best penalty killers. And, you know, and let's be honest, I mean, the, the goaltending has been remarkably good up until this point. It wasn't quite as sharp as it has been, uh, you know, this past weekend. And, and so, I mean, it, a little bit of, you know, a couple of different elements have to kind of come together. They need to, you know, block some more shots. They need to get in lanes a little bit better. And then they, you know, obviously they need a few more saves than they have. And what is it like with some of these unexpected guys like Jack Rogers, Adam Ingram, Ethan Coyne, when they score big goals to help out the team? Well, I mean, that's one of the big things with this team with, with their success is like, if they're staying out of the penalty box, they're beating teams with their depth, and it's because of guys like a coin and, and Rogers and Ryan Roseboro and Aiden Spellacy. Those and those guys are able to go out there and control the, the level of play and keep the puck down in the in the offensive zone. That helps create momentum for the team, and then when the, the more likely people come out there and score, I mean, uh, they're they're going to get the benefit of tighter teams because they've been, kept, been keeping them pinned down. But, uh, you know, that's going to be a big thing for them down the stretch. I mean, these games get a lot tighter, so I mean, if, if they can get more depth of scoring, that's just going to help this team immensely. Andy's leading the NCHC in block shots. How important is it going to be for the Huskies to create plays around the Yeah, I mean, they, 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 one of the big things for, for them is, you know, they just need to consistently be moving the puck and putting pressure on people down low. When, when St. Cloud State has a lot of success offensively, they're keeping the puck down below the, the face-off dots and, and they're kind of cycling the puck and they're they're able to create havoc out in front of the net. Uh, that's how they're going to stay away from uh, shots getting blocked. Is, is If they're in that tight, it's, it's almost impossible to block shots down there. So if they can get back down low uh, where, where they have been so effective, uh, that's going to help them out. Player this year, when St. Cloud and Miami match up, they ended up splitting the series. What can we expect, and what do the Huskies need to do to walk away with two wins? Well, they need to get back to you know a little bit more of their identity here this this next week, and that's something that they've been talking about here this week. Is that uh, you know, yep, every now and again you're going to blow a tire and, and you know have a, a rough weekend. They 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 had kind of a combination of things. Friday, I don't think they played quite as well. They played better on Saturday, but you know they. The timing of some things was, was not great. They took some penalties at some bad times. Uh, you know, they need to get up, get ahead of, on, on Miami. Don't give them hope. I mean, that, that's one of the big things. When you're playing the, the, the bottom team of, of, in the league, you've got to be able to, you know, just take away any of their hope early on. And they're going to be back playing at home, so hopefully that'll help them out. Well, that's all I have for you on this episode of Ringside. Make sure you follow Mick the Rink live and SCSU Huskies underscore MH. Stay tuned on this NCHC matchup at the Brookside.